Well, you know as soon as Bridgeport Stadium filled with smoke, like something out of a movie scene, that ODU JMU was going to be a barn burner. And it was just that. On JMU's homecoming night, they set a new attendance record, and it was a nail-biter all the way to the last play. ODU falling in heartbreaking fashion. 30-27, to the Monarchs moved to 4-4 four and four on the year, and head coach Ricky Ronnie after the loss, visibly emotional. Uh, that one stings because uh, we had them. Thought our guys played their hearts out, made too many mistakes, um, but we played tough. We have tough kids who are absolute warriors. This game was tight going into the locker room. ODU was only down 14 to 10 after this dot from Grant Wilson to Dominic Dutton. You could argue this was Wilson's best game as a Monarch. He had 277 passing yards and two touchdowns. He was dealing. And yeah, I've, I've grown a lot, but so have they. So has our team. We've come together really. We found you know the missing parts here or there. And when we just when we just play our game, you know, it just builds trust with everyone. Um, and everyone can play at a state of flow that just feels good. But when the teams came out of the locker room to start the second half, that's when the tides started to turn a little bit in favor of the Dukes. That stout JMU defensive line, one of the best in college football, forcing a monarch safety. And then their next possession after they got the ball back, this happened. But again, the Monarchs wouldn't be denied. Wilson comes marching right back down, finds his main man, Javon Harvey. And ODU, just like that, in this game, they just weren't going away. You know, I've coached some great teams and some great players that, you know, I love. You know, I love some of the guys I've coached, but um, this team, man, I, I just I just like being around them. I just like being around them, and I like uh, their fight, and it's, uh, it's a joy. So, Listen, all things considered, ODU were 20-and-a-half-point underdogs going into this game, and they took the 25th-best team in the nation to the absolute brink. Again, the loss is not what you want if you're a Monarch fan, but you're four and four, and you're inching closer to that bull bit. They're hoping to get their fifth win of the season when they host Coastal Carolina at home next Saturday. At Bridgeport Stadium, I'm James Casado for the Sports Draft.